Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? Thomas Downs! Oh, Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? Downs! Oh, Mr. Downs! Mr. Thomas Downs? Yep, that's me. You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm, I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? Believe me, sir, I didn't want this either. You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm, I'm not running anywhere. I'm, 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 do, I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery uh. little bastard. And I got you now. Please. Please, show some compassion. Please. Strauss told me you needed a beating. You saying he was right? What will that solve? We took your word. Now we'll take your hide. <sighs> you borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife or your family or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <coughs> Thomas! What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman. My husband isn't well. If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money. Good morning, Arthur. Hey. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Susan. Good morning, Arthur. Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course.
Hello, Abigail. Why don't you sit for a bit, Arthur? John behaving himself? I suppose. Why? Just checking. Didn't mean nothing by it. Yeah, goodbye. So, we found the old Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of Combe. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Hey, Arthur. Laundry and sewing. The exciting life of an outlaw. Yes, if they only knew how to Boy. It's okay. Here I took a little jolt and have managed to get myself hopelessly lost. I am staying in Strawberry. If you could just guide me back. Can't think of a good reason to say no. Oh, thank you, thank you, sir. <sighs> New Yorkers. Jesus. Hey, partner. <laughs> Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. 
Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you going to get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't joking, cowpoke. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months, and now I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. <sighs> Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. You got any dynamite? You might want to step back a bit. Get out of here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. Who do you sons of bitches to- Wait, let's get the hell out of here! I got some unfinished business! Trust you? You have finally lost your damn mind! Moving up! You goddamn maniac! I should have left you to hang! We're in it now, Morgan! What do you want to do? Let's put this son of a bitch that... Will you go down! I'll kill this whole town if I have to! We should be long gone by now! You got something of mine I ain't leaving without! Who? Shit, more of the bastards! I can see that! You're dead now! Coming for you right now. Let's go. Where are we going? Making a house. We really should get out of here. Calm yourself, woman. Like I said, I need to see someone. Skinny, get out here. Skinny. Skinny Micah, it's Norman. Oh. Oh. You always was a letdown, you fat sack of crap. Oh. Excuse me a minute, Arthur. Oh. Hello, Maddie. Did you miss me? They had something of mine. My guns. I showed him, and I'll show the rest of this town! You have really lost it this time. Shoot the entire town! I work clean! I don't leave Reckon loose it. Man, we got out of here, Morgan! Now you wanna get out of here? Yeah! Shoot the devil out of those bastards! What do you He's riding, Morgan! I don't have much choice!
just ain't get is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. If he hadn't found us in time... Yes, you will all be thanked profusely. I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. Someone I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fellow, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court chest? Right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, you and me, sons of Dutch, makes us brothers. Sometimes, brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back of Strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a... Peace offering. Bye now. Yeah. Been in the black water, see how things lie. Places crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Oh, we got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. Well, they wanna trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. We can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or 
Cut them loose. We're not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skeldings, boys. I'm moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... We need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side? And then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. Let's go see. You know, Arthur, the government, or people whom the government like, seem to be very angry. Sure, well, we'll rescue Sean, and then we'll get ourselves lost, good and proper. It's a big country. I hope so. Let's see if we can track down this boat. Keep your eyes open for Pinkertons. They got patrols out all over this area. Yes, south of the river West Elizabeth isn't a very welcoming place right now. Down there. Reckon those might be our boys. All right, gentlemen. Follow me. We'll follow them. Nice and easy. Let's make sure it's him first before you go starting another war. You think they can see us? If they can, we're just three fellas out on the trail. Act natural. We'll be fine. So, you've been gone for a while. Much as I love dodging the law and sleeping in the dirt with you derelicts, I do have other business to attend to. What happened in New York? You know how life is. Never a straight road anywhere. Especially with you. Nice to know I'm missed, though. Have you run out of people to rob? Oh, we'll never run out of people to rob. But without me, you'll not find the caliber of victim that I find. Let's go. Stay with them. You all right, Javier? You're quiet. He hasn't stopped talking since we left you in Valentine. It's the longest ride of my life. Cute, dear boy. Very cute. Push up, come on. Apparently, there's a camp somewhere around here where the bounty hunters meet and transfer before continuing out west. I imagine that they're headed. Hey, they've pulled into shore. All right, let's take a closer look. Binoculars, gentlemen. So who are these bounty hunters? I don't know too much about Ike Skeldon's boys. But I hear they're a big crew, and wild, built some reputation in the last year or two. That looks like Sean to me. Certainly kicking up enough of a fuss. Yep, that's definitely Sean. Oh, they're giving him a decent kicking. Well, you can only imagine the shit he's been giving them. Oh, yes. They're taking him up the canyon. There's Charles on the other side. Let's go. What about the other two down there? I've got an idea. Follow me.
should do this quietly if we can. Leave it to me, gentlemen. I'll go around and create a distraction. Then you two sneak across and do the dirty on them. Okay. Wait. Okay, let's move down. Don't cross until he's got their attention. Hold up, he's doing his thing. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Excuse me. Dear brothers, my wife is taken ill. Gravely ill. What's the problem? It's dear Bessie. She's you take the one on the left. Okay, come her. on. Stay low. I, I'm beside myself. I, if I lose, if I lose Bessie, I lose everything. Oh, calm down, mister. I, I, I can't! I can't! I, I'm having a fit. <laughs> Come on, let's get up there. A pleasure as always, gentlemen. I think you have it from here. Come on. We got two halfway up the canyon to deal with. Que lindo those boots you got there, eh? Mm -hmm. Oh, they're very nice. Who's the guy you got them from? Is he <laughs> still? Mm -hmm. Come on, focus. Oh. Focus, okay. Come on! We need to get past these sons of bitches! Ah! Ah! Move, Archer! Come on, let's get up there. Hey, watch out for these two! Here's Charles. All good? Wouldn't go that far. The camp's up this way. Come on. I'll take the left side, Charles. You go right, okay? Let's take these, hijo de puta! Stop it! Stop it, God! Damn up! Maybe we turn him in ourselves. 
yourself. Still to... Um... A preacher for you. You're a lot less ugly from that other angle, Arthur. Come on. <laughs> Do I get a hug, Arthur? A warm embrace for a lost brother now found. <laughs> you know, nothing means more to me than this gang. The bond we share. It's the most real thing to me. I would kill for it, I would happily die for it. But in spite of all of that, I would have easily left you here to rot if Charles hadn't stopped me. <laughs> I don't believe a word of that, Arthur. Get him out of here. You're a great man, Arthur Morgan. The kind of young whippersnapper I can really admire. Oh, shut up. Right, we should split up. Javier, will you escort Mr. McGuire back to camp? Charles, best you ride separately. Be careful. There's patrols everywhere. What about you? I'm gonna see what's worth taking here. I'll meet you back there as soon as I can. All right. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Have I got stories for you? Yeah, I can't wait. <clears throat> I imagine y'all miss me a lot, but fear not, the joy's back in your lives now. Train's here. Just get your tickets out and come this way. Hello there. Pleased to see you. Happy to help you start over. Thanks for your assistance. 